what is routing table and why do we need a routing table at all let me answer briefly and concisely it is a table actually in each networking device in each router there is a table based on which it makes decisions that which path to take for forwarding the data packet so it is a table stored in layer 3 devices which lists all the routes matrix and next hop so basically it has three contents three major portions the first one is called as routing network id the second one is called as metric and third one is called as next hop so what are these three network id is the destination subnet it tells us okay for example if you have to reach to another city the city name is dubai so dubai is network id which you have to reach actually maybe the post code is 5002 so this one actually is your network id the destination which you want to reach metric is the path it is the routing metric of the path through which the packet is to be sent so this one tells us okay there are two routes you can reach to dubai via london you can either go through germany or either you can go through spain or either you can take another route via sudan via nigeria so these are different metrics different paths which you can take so it will tell you the best path actually and then the next stop that which device so after dubai where do you have to go to reach to dubai so this is called as next hop the address of the next device through which it is only the next device it does not tell you the whole route it just tells you that okay for you have to reach to dubai so for example from london you have to reach to dubai right so from london which is the next station maybe after london there is uh, there may be an other maybe amsterdam or some other city so it will just tell you okay this is the next stop it will just point once you reach to the next stop there will be another next stop which will be pointing to the next so it is only the next destination right let me show you the real routing table from a cisco equipment from a cisco router so whenever we run this command show ip route you can simulate this one in your packet tracer and gns3 i have taken this output from gns3 so which one says that how does the routing table look like so this is the command i have run and it has given me some guideline in here this is the guideline just like the legend you know it tells us what will be the meaning of c what will be the meaning of s o, o meaning will be ospf and this is the content actually of the routing table this one tells us o means as an example o means that this is an ospf route right 192.168 is the network which we have to reach it is telling us that to reach this network we can use a route which is has been learned which has been learned through ospf and the admin distance of that routing protocol is 110 actually we already know because we know ospf will always be 110 then this is important information two is called as metric so this metric tells us that what is the weightage how 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 much can we rely on this route right and then where this one so this is your next stop through which you have to proceed and this is the aging time let me show you the output and different parts so i have highlighted for you here you can see that there are three parts mainly one is network id admin distance and metric and the next stop there are many other parts and in different vendors you will find a lot of other things but these three parts will always be there the first part says routing protocol of course we know and then but in the language of routing we have to find the routing protocol from here so 110 means ospf one means static route zero means connected route 90 means eig rp so from this number we can find from this admin distance we can find which routing protocol is that although it is written here and then from the legend as well we can find this one right so you can see here so this one tells us basically that to reach to this network the admin distance we have learned this protocol from ospf cost is two and this is the next hop which we have to follow and this is the local interface which you can use and this is the time and then there is another information which is called as gateway of last resort this one means that the default gateway if you cannot find the route in here for example if you say okay i want to reach the network which is maybe 9.9.9.9 so this network is not here it means to reach this network you will have to send it to your default gateway so if you the router will start from here it will try to look for that route 999999 no it is not there so finally it will send to the default gateway default gateway 
or gateway of last resort from the name you can see that the last resort means whenever you cannot find the route then that packet will be sent to this one then it is up to the last resort or the gateway what does it do with that route so this is basically all about the routing table and how to read the routing table within a router we need to go to the cli and then run the relevant command